All right, so today we're talking about log cultivation, how to inoculate logs. I'm going to go through the process, the one, two, three with you. Just do it right behind me. I have a log, and um, yeah, you'll get to see how that, how that works. I want to start by talking about the tools that I've purchased. Um, these were both uh, purchased from Field and Forest. They have a great website with mushroom spawn and tools. Um, my company, Fungi Ally, doesn't sell these tools right now, so they're a good, good source for them. Um, this first one is called a palm inoculator, and these, these aren't really necessary if you're only going to be doing 5 or 10 logs a year. But if you're interested in doing 20 to 25 logs for multiple years in a row, it's worthwhile to invest in these. Um, this tool is about $40.00. And it's a pretty simple thing, it's called a palm inoculator. What you do is you take it and stab it into the sawdust, and it fills up uh, this, this section with the mycelium. And then you take it and hit it right into the log, and that section goes right into the log. Um, it's a pretty simple tool to take apart. Um, there's just you know three or four parts, and you just have to make sure when you're using it that um, these parts don't fall off or become um, become dislodged. So you have the, um, the handle which screws in right up here and the, the kind of plunger piece which screws in at the bottom and then at the top up here is a spring. So it's spring loaded and this uh, top piece, you know, if one ever comes apart, you screw this in top piece goes right into the bottom and this end is also um, threaded so this thing just screws right in and while you're inoculating um, these this piece tends to start to come on loose and so you start getting less and less mycelium in each hole so it's just good to check this tool while you're inoculating to make sure that it's still um, thoroughly screwed in so you're getting all of the um, all of the mycelium you can into the hole. Okay, this is called a palm inoculator. Next tool is a um, adapted angle grinder. So essentially we have an angle grinder here and then this is the piece that you purchase in. Um, this is an adapter so it converts the angle grinder to a drill and then this is the drill bit. Right. So what's really nice about having this is that this drill bit is the same length as the palm inoculator tool. So they're completely lined up, so you don't even have to think about how deep am I going, what's going on. This has a stop collar, so it won't go any deeper than the exact uh, depth you want the, um, the mycelium to be at, which is a, roughly an inch to an inch and a half. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty basic tool. And the biggest advantage is that this is ro um, rotating at 10 to 12 thousand uh, RPMs, whereas a regular drill is probably in the range of 3,000. So this is going to be way faster, a lot easier than using, um, say, even, even a corded drill. So maybe if you're doing five logs, you can get away with a corded drill, um, but if you're doing anything above you know, 20, then this is way to go. So let's see them in action. Alright, so I have my log uh, right here, and we have a uh, spawn. First step is to drill the holes into the log. So this is the, um, the um, adapted angle grinder. And that's one row. Typically when I'm inoculating, I'll do a whole log, so I'll start one row, and then rotate it, and uh, drill into the next row um, hole. We want the spacing in the, in, with the holes in the log to be six inches in row, and then two inches in between rows. This is because the cell walls of the log run this way, so you're going to get less, uh, the, the mycelium can run faster this way, it doesn't have to go through cell walls, and it can go around the log where it has a lot of cell walls that it needs to break down. 
So once the holes are drilled, um, take our spawn, break it up. We break the spawn into all these tiny little pieces. Whenever I open a fresh bag of spawn, I like to give it a good smell. Mmm, sweet, yummy. My cinnamon has just such an earthy, rich smell. So we've got our spawn. And this is the amazing thing about my cinnamon is that we can break it into tiny, tiny pieces and then it just starts regrowing again. So put, use the, spawn, the palm inoculator, fill it up, punch it into each hole, and then you just hit the, um, hit the palm of it and it fills up with my cinnamon. So what this looks like is this little, the so notice I plunge in two or three times, and then you get this really nice uh, dowel formation. If you just hit in once like that, right, you get a lot less. That was, that was not bad, but you definitely get less. So you want to just kind of stab in here three or four times, and then go to your hole and fill it up. And after, you know, two or three logs, this becomes a pretty repetitive process. You just repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, keep doing it. Okay, so now we've got this whole row lined up with um, drilled and filled. And our last step is waxing. So I like to use a nice crock pot for uh, melting the wax, and then we just paint it right on here, sealing the logs. So this is doing two things. One, it's keeping the moisture inside of the log. If you think of the bark like a, a plate of armor that keeps the moisture in the log. So when we drill into it, we're breaking that armor and we want to reseal it. So we're using cheese wax um, to reseal those holes. The other thing is just keeping other fungi out, right? So those are access points where spores could get in and my cinnamon of other mushrooms could start growing through this log. So we're sealing that off and then it's good to go. So I just did one row in this log. Usually I do um, you know, all the way around the log, um, but I think that's good for now.